Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory that is due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wahawah Kakwadash, Barakatham. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who we will, who taught me this truth and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe that may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations. But if you go back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino slash Hispanic, a so-called Native American slash Seminole Indian, then you are in fact and indeed an Israelite if you could perceive it through the spirit. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Aquaf, which are the sisters that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the children that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, this lesson off in the book of Second Exodus chapter 6 and we're going to start at verse 7. All right, and it reads, Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting of asunder of the of the times or when shall the end be of the first and the beginning of it that followeth all right so this is the prophet Esdras all right asking the angel Uriel all right this question verse 8 and he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac when Jacob and Esau were born of him Jacob's hand Hail first the heel of Esau. All right. When you grab somebody by their ankle, their heel, this is a representation. What are you trying to do? You're trying to take them down, snatch them up off their feet. All right. Verse nine. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. That's right. So Esau, Edom, all right, who are the border of wickedness, you're, you're going to be taken out of power. And the so-called Negroes and Latinos, all right, are and the so-called Native Americans and Seminole Indians, so-called, because they're the, actually the Israelites. Those are bywords, all right, proverbs and bywords. They're going to be on top, and it's going to be uh, everlasting, okay? Uh, right now, we're in Esau's heaven, all right? For, so with that, let's let's see who Esau is, all right? Matter of fact, let's go to the book of Job because Esau is in power in these latter days. This is the book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Well, who's the wicked? The Edomites, all right? It tells us that in the next scripture that we're going to grab in the book of Malachi, chapter 1 and verse 4, all right? And they covered the face of First and foremost of Yahweh Shai, all right? They covered his face, made him pale when he's really a dark-skinned man, according to the scriptures, all right? He's the number one judge, all right? So let's get who these wicked are. Um, Malachi 1 and verse 4, and it reads, Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. All right. Yeah, they returned. All right. During the Renaissance. All right. They shall build, but I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord Yahweh have indignation forever. So the Edomites are the wicked and the uh, earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right. So a hey, through process of elimination, we know that the so-called white man, woman and child is Esau Edom. OK, and you're going to get taken out of power. All right. Let's go here to the book of Revelation. All right. Revelation chapter uh, 21. All right. And we'll grab verse one. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. All right. The first heaven and the first earth were passed away. 
All right. And what that represents is this current kingdom. All right. The earth, the earth is not going to be destroyed. All right. It's scriptures on that stating that the earth is not going to be destroyed. And there was no more sea. All right. The sea represents people. All right. Let's let's go here real quick. Uh, let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter one. All right. And verse four. Yep, let me highlight this. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and verse 4. One generation passeth away and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. All right, so yeah, the earth isn't going to be destroyed. Esau's wicked system within this earth is going to be destroyed. America is going to be destroyed. All right, Israel the land over there in Israel is going to be destroyed. All right. And built back up because that land is defiled. All right. That place has to be cleansed. There's war going on over there. You got a thing called pink city. You got uh kosher pig. Oh yeah. That's most going to be destroyed, but the earth is not going to be destroyed. All right. America's going to be destroyed and never inhabited again. All right. So with that, let's go here. Uh, let's go to the book of Numbers. Chapter 24. We'll read verses 18 through 20. All right. And it reads, and Edom shall be a possession. Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies. And Israel shall do valiantly. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion and destroy him that remaineth in the city. Yahweh Shai is coming. All right. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up, up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. All right. Yeah. Amalek is the grandson of Esau. Okay. So, yeah, you're going to uh, perish forever, man. All right, the Edomites are. It tells us that in the book of Obadiah. Let's grab that. This is Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 18. All right, now let's start at 15. For the day of the Lord Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. Esau, Edom, you're the top heathen nation out of the 17. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually slavery, that cup of slavery. Yeah, they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been like you never existed. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions and the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame. And the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai have spoken it. All right, yeah. So there's not going to be none remaining in the house of Esau. All right, you're through. You're done. Okay. Um, let me see here. Uh, bear with me, Akim. Okay, Khan. Uh, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 2. We'll start at verse 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? They rage because they thought they were going to be on power in power forever, and that's a vain thing. All right, the kings of the earth set themselves. And the rulers take counsel together against the Lord, Yahweh, and against his anointing, saying, that's crazy. How can y'all take counsel against the Lord? All right. Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord, Yahweh, shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my ho holy hill. Mount Zion, I will declare the decree, 
The Lord Yahweh have said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. That's right. Yahweh Shai going to get his hands on the heathen first, on Esau first, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. All right. So you Edomites, get ready. I know y'all don't believe it, but it's coming. Okay. Uh. Esau is the end of this world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So with that, once again, I want to say, Kol Halal Yimla, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Wahara Kodash, Barakatham. Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who were well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labored in this word. And once again, I want to give a sincere peace, blessing, and salutations to all of you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news in our truthfulness and sincerity. So with that, I want to say a ball, 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 and shalom.